Today we're going to be looking at a new way to color and paint our self-portraits. If you want more art ideas for your kids, check the link below and I have a free studio setup guide with a bunch of tips for getting started and doing more things at home. For our self-portraits, you have two options for the background. One is you can do what Elijah's done and draw a realistic background. I love this texture that he's got in his grass. He's got two trees that take up a lot of the space and it's gonna look amazing. Okay, on mine, I have not done a background. I could do a realistic background like Elijah or if you don't wanna do that, um, you could draw an abstract background. Like I'm just gonna put in some lines. You could put in shapes. I'm just gonna make some simple lines going out which honestly would make for a lot of painting. So if you, if I wanted to, I could add some other shapes and stuff into my abstract background. But when you start coloring, the options for the skin are, we have all these um, awesome skin tone crayons. So start by looking at the skin tones and pick one that is close to you. When I color in with my crayon, I'm gonna color in the same direction. I'm not gonna press too hard because I don't want this nice new crayon to break. And then I'm just gonna color in all the parts that have skin. When you're coloring in your face, you could um, use another color of crayon if you wanna give yourself a little pinker cheeks. If you want to give, you know, add a realistic lip color, you can add a realistic lip color. When you're coloring your eyeballs, guys, remember that look at your neighbor and see how the color inside their eye, the circle is the color and the rest is white. So the part in the very middle is the color. Mine looks a little odd. So there should be a black dot, the pupil in the middle and then you have the colored part, which is the iris, and then the part all around it is white. Okay, one fun thing to do with crayons is to mix colors. And um, you can mix, one, like one thing you could do is you can do a dark outline with your crayon. You could color it in lightly like this, and that even already makes it look like two colors. Let's see, I'm growing out my gray hairs, so maybe I should put some gray hairs <laughs> in the front. So did you see this little pencil break? I think it had fallen on the floor, and then when I picked it up, we found out it was broken. So if you guys, since we're using brand new beautiful crayons, if you guys break a crayon, will you please bring it up to us so that we can, um, or up to me so that I can tape it? and then our box won't get all crazy. So even if it's weird using a wiggly crayon, at least it'll all fit in the box. So let's try for that. So remember a couple coloring strategies? We're gonna color in the same direction. If you want to outline an area first, you can. If it feels so overwhelming to color like this whole shirt purple, you can color a little section and then color that section in. I find this highly satisfying, so we'll see. If you like it, you can try it. You can add designs onto your shirt or something like that to keep it a little bit more interesting or to make sure that you don't have to color everything in solid. You could add stripes, which would have been fun if I had thought of it. And that's, if your hand is cramping, guys, shake your hands out like this. You can, you know, give yourself a little hand massage, bend your fingers back lightly, and then just go back, keep going, you got this. So I'd like you to try crayons, I'd like you to try some color mixing somewhere. I could have gotten a much more creative guys on my outfit, so I hope you will, but I didn't really. I did, I had this other one that I did, and you can see I did a lot more color mixing on the pants and I had it a detail on the shirt. 
which one is more interesting visually? I think this one is so much more interesting. So you guys can try, and if we use the old crayons, you can do this kind of a texture where you're using the side of the crayon. And we can pull those out too. We can definitely pull out the old crayons. You can tell the difference. This one's a lot more interesting if you're doing more color mixing. So I say go for it, guys. Then on your background, you have the option to use some paint if you want. And we have these fun neon paints. If you wanted to, you could use this on your clothes. Like say you just wanted to paint neon clothes and color a normal background. That could work really well for um, Elijah's here. If he wanted to do colorful outfit and paint normal background, he could. If he wanted to, you know, color his outfit and paint a crazy neon background, that would be fun too. You can do it no matter what you do. If you do, if you choose abstract or realistic you can still choose the crazy colors on these paints you want to go around 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 several times if you want it dark and then when you're painting then you want to go slightly smoothly slowly around any edges so if I don't want my color to go through this line then I need to go soft through it and then once I've painted a, a thin line then you can go a little bit crazier on the inside. And see if your brush starts to get dry like that, all you have to do is take him and go a quick, super speedy quick, boop, in and out. Did you see how fast that was? That was not washing him, that was just a quick drink of water. So if, you, if your brush dries out, give Mr. Brush a quick sip of water and then you can go back and spread that paint around. If your paper starts getting pilly, what that means are these little bits of paper that are popping up, then you need to stop and move on to another spot because that's going to start getting gross, okay? Okay, here's my crazy painted background. I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of think I might have done better just to pick a couple colors <laughs> instead of using all of them, but that's one option. One last option, guys, is if you want to draw a horizon line, which is just a line across the paper somewhere. It could be anywhere higher or lower. The part on the top is the sky. The part on the bottom is the ground. You could be awesome like Elijah and add texture. I'm not going to just because I'm running out of time. So I'm going to pick a color, and I'm going to pick one color. I'm going to paint the whole bottom this orange. And then I'm going to paint a different color for the sky. And you don't really have to wash Mr. Brush between this, you know, dipping for this color, but you do want to get a bunch of water. So wish me luck. Okay, so here's here's our option with neon top and bottom. Here is a crazy background. Or if you want to use crayons, you can. Or honestly, we could even break out the non-neon if you want those. 